Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel. Is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth. All over in the diaspora, I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ. And to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, hallelujah, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit. And find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember, my name is Carrie and it is in solid gray border with a little tick by the side. Anybody else, brother and sister in the comment section, pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of Ohio. And also we do something called the top 20 and the beautiful beloved in the most uh, higher uh, comment on it, any videos, I'll give your name a little shout out. Please continue to like the videos, watch the videos to the end, go in the comment section, let's communicate to the get, communicate with the, let's communicate in the comment section and share share the videos as well. All right. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel and please subscribe. Thank you for those of you who have blessed me through PayPal. I've seen um, your blessings. Ahaya, hallelujah. Eternal bless you and your household. I really, really appreciate it. All my PayPal blessers. I call you PayPal blessers. Hallelujah. Thank you from, my, from the bottom of my heart. Hallelujah. All right. We are near. We're not only near to the... Uh, returning of the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Messiah. We also need to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist, the lawless one. Brothers and sisters, that dirty dragon is on his way. Uh, Daniel 7 verse 25 tells you Satan will change times, laws, and season, and it will be given to him in his hands. So you have to um, make sure your anchor holds. You have to pray to be found worthy and worthy that Yesiah is talking about is the woman in Revelation 12. Many, many people do not know about or believe in the great worldwide second exodus like the Moses first exodus. That Ahaya is going to regather the 12 scattered tribe of Yeshahel all over the world. The Most High is going to regather us one day it is going to happen. You have to pray to be found where is escape with the woman in Revelation 12. The woman with the 12 stars, the 12 stars represent the 12 scattered tribe of Yeshahel. So please make sure you're found worthy. Uh, a lot of people believe that the rap they call it the rapture is coming. I call it the sixth seal. The sixth seal is going to open. There's no if, buts, or maybe. The sixth seal of Revelation is going to open. But before the sixth seal opens, the second exodus will have to take place. If it doesn't take place before and there's somebody standing in the clouds, that's a fake messiah. It ain't the real one. Because the second exodus has to take place first. All right? We have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near. It's a song that my good old mommy taught me. When I was a little girl, she said I had sweeties and toys. And when we we're near to the stuff, she said sing a song called How Near You Are. And the song goes like this. <clears throat> How near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near. How near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near. And we can sing that song with? Right, confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, okay. Um, remember, I have two ministries, one for the end-time prophetic ministries and one for the Hebrew Yashahelites. Glory be to the most high. Glory, hallelujah. All right. So, I released uh, a very prophetic vision yesterday by a beautiful sister. Listen to this. Ahaya, brothers and sisters, I have so many visions over the years that... When I give prophecy, sometimes I'm giving the prophecy of another brother or a sister. I don't even 
realize that the prophecy matches because the Lord has given me the prophecies before, but I, I can't remember all the visions and dreams at the same time and let the most I reveal it in my spirit, right? So I shared a very powerful, powerful video yesterday of a beautiful sister. Yes, it's a sister of the Lord. Maryam Kojo, Sister Maryam Kojo, where she talks about the worms coming from the gums and people become smelly, all right? And I've already given the prophecy in 2021 20, where the Lord showed me that foul smell will take over the people. Some, not everybody. Some. Some people have had the moon juice. All right. We've drunk in the moon juice, couple slices, whether it's one cup or two cup, whatever they've done. Or some people are going to begin to smell really, really, really bad. Stinky smell like. Um, but what the Lord draw my attention to. After I've done the video and I've uploaded it and uploaded it and everything. And as I was about to go to my bed and say my prayers, and I was just reminiscing, reminiscing about the video, the Lord brought to my spirit worms. So I said to the most, I said, Oh, yes, Father, Sister Kajo saw the worms coming out of their gums. And I heard in my spirit again, worms. So I said to the most, I know that the Holy Spirit is speaking and is drugging uh, my memory for what, of what he had shown me in 2021. 2000 and two, 2022 January. 2022 January, that's last year. And I heard the Holy Spirit says, remember the worms. First of all, he started off with worms. So when he said worms, because I was thinking about Sister Kajo's vision that I've uploaded, I'm thinking, yes, worms coming out of these people gone because they're rotting in from inside out because of the parasite that's inside of them, right? So I heard all the spirit says worm again. And I said, yes, Lord, worm that Sister Kajo said. Then I heard the spirit of the Lord says, remember the worms. Remember the worms. So I'm thinking, remember the worms. So now I begin to think, okay, Father, have you shown me any visions with worms? <laughs> so that's what the conversation, I was thinking in my spirit. I said, Lord, have you showed me any vision, any vision with worms? And the Holy Spirit said, yes, I have. And brothers and sisters, listen to me, I'm rocking my brain. I was rocking my brain to find out. I'm saying, Father, I know you've given me the revelation about the the egg hatching. Those of you who watch the channel, you know, I've spoke about egg hatching. I've got a playlist full on the egg hatching. I said, Lord, is it the egg hatching? Is it the parasite that I've just recently spoke about? Lord says, I've given you the vision about worms. Because what he has said, he said, what I've shown my daughter, sister, Kajo, is truth. And it will come to pass. Remember the vision I gave you about worms. Brothers and sisters, I'm there thinking worms. What vision is it, Father? And the Lord was so gracious and so good to me. He remembered. He reminded me of the vision. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth. Brothers and sisters, please take heed. Because when, I, when the Lord bought that vision, back to my memory and I went straight straight in my place playlist straight and found the vision I said oh lord I said father you cannot lie ahaya never ever ever lies and the thing about it is that when I was doing the sister's vision I didn't remember about the worms but those of you who remember about the worms do you remember which vision I had about the worms I'm going to tell it to you now I'm going to tell it to you. But do you remember any visions that I've given concerning worms? I'm going to tell it to you. Remember in 2022 January, I'm going to leave the original video pinned in the description box, standalone pin. I want you to watch it for yourself because I'm not going to go through the whole video, right? In 2022 January. Ahaya gave me a very powerful vision. 
And in this vision, basically, I was in a lab. Lab was white like snow. The walls were just so glistening, not a dirt. It was proper white and glycery and everything, right? And while I was in this lab, I was with fallen angels that looked human. All of them. Couldn't tell unless the Spirit of the Lord reveals them to you. And the Lord said, these are fallen angels that you're looking at. Pretending to be scientists, so to speak. And one of the fallen angels came up to me. Nice as pie. But I knew it was fallen angel because the Lord already told me who it was. And he began to tell me about, you know, not going to go through the whole vision. Santa Claus is called Saint Nick and this and that and what have you. And he said, Satan is called Saint Nick. That is what he said. Anyway, he said to me in the lines of, do you know what we're doing here in this lab? And I said to him, no, I don't know. And he said that we are creating things to go in the moonshot. Brothers and sisters, the most I gave me bird's eye view. Because where we're standing, I couldn't see these scientists. All of them had a microscope. Every one of them had a microscope that they were looking down into. And the spirit of the Most High, when the fallen angel said, we are creating things to go into, come on our church, things to go into the moonshot. I saw what these fallen angels were looking at. And it was worm, black worms, wriggling, just, just parasitic wriggling entities that they have placed into the moonshot so when the sister came and said worms coming out of the gum she's not lying the vision she had is truth absolutely truth that's why i shared it but i just that just that i didn't remember that higher gave me a vision concerning worms in 2022 january some of you will remember it but we'll leave it linked please watch it very, very important. So when the Most High began to speak to my spirit as I was on my bed and he brought the vision back to my memory, I said, ah, I said, yes, Lord, it all makes sense. It's all connecting. Because I said, Father, you've been telling me that parasite, that's the word I've been using since ending of December coming now. I've been using parasite in people. The parasitic lesion is like worms that's going to take over the brain, everything, right? When these people begin to change. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Let me quickly explain this. A higher just revealed to me because people don't understand how the zum zum work and why they change. It's the parasitic lesion that enters the brain. And take, they literally eat the brain and then it sits in the brain and take over because it's an entity. It's demonic. So that's why they are um, zombies because they don't have any human uh, intellect unless you cast that parasite out through prayer because it's not the mark of the beast. All right? Okay. So as the Lord... Reveal to me that the worms are in the moonshot, all right? The moon milk, the juice, whatever you want to call it. Parasitic lesions. The Lord began to speak to my spirit. A higher says to me, when I gave you that vision in 2022 with the fallen angels in the lab, Making the things to go into the, you call, a higher cause of the right name, but because of you, you are called. Making the things to go into the 19 moonshot, yeah? The 19 moonshot, the 19 C moonshot, <laughs> right? Jabby, jabby, jubi, jubba, jab, right? A higher said, I've shown you the fallen angels. I said, yes, Lord. And the Lord says to me, the moonshot, the people or the entities who have made the moonshot are fallen angels. Are you listening, brothers and sisters? Are you listening to prophecy? 
No human being, come on, oh church, hallelujah. No human being in their right mind can create a moonshot and put, and put, and put entity, demonic entity into medicine. Sorcery. A higher says that's the creation, the creation of the moon shot. A higher calls it the right name. A higher said it's the fallen angels in human form that has done it. These creatures are so wicked, just like the days of Noah, just like the days of Lot. So anybody you see out there boasting and carrying it, that's what I said to people. If you've eaten the milk, if you've taken a couple slices of the milk, of the moon milk, moon juice, you need to repent. This is, this is serious. Because I'm telling you, when that egg hatches, it's a problem. Because you will not have the capacity at that time to drop on your knees and ask a higher Come on now for forgiveness. You won't have capacity to ask a higher to heal you. Because all you're going to think about is wickedness. Because the parasite of taking over the brain. A higher says it's a fallen, literal fallen angels. Brothers and sisters, they're here. They're on the earth. Literal fallen angels in human form. That has created the moon shot. It's them that's done it. And the dirty Caesars who are human, some of them are human, um, cover up. When the Lord revealed it to me, listen, this is heavy. This is heavy, brothers and sisters. When Ahaya revealed this to me, I said, Father, Ahaya, your pe and look at these dirty, wicked pastors. Yeah, dirty, dirty, wicked pastors who claim to have the spirit of Ahaya, who claim to have the Holy Ghost inside of them, and they could not even determine or discern that the moonshot is wicked and is from the devil. And those of us who are fully awake understood what was going on and we stayed away from it. But these pastors encouraged the people. Gina Jennings, yeah, I'm calling him his, calling his name because he's wicked. He needs to repent, literally repent, right? Because he was one of them who told his members, you cannot come to my church unless you take the moon milk. You cannot come on the bus, the church bus, unless you take the moon milk. How oh, wicked. And you claim to have the spirit of Ahaya. You claim to have the Holy Ghost inside. And you could not even determine or discern that this stuff is wicked. Fallen angels, brothers and sisters. Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. But the thing when Ahaya gave me the vision in 2022, I wasn't, it didn't click at that time to say, oh, you know, it's a fallen ones that have created the mo that literally make up the juice like literally they're the ones that done it right it didn't click because in that video i was um i was more concerned with santa claus being satan and the worms i wasn't really concentrating on the fallen angels but now the most i revealed to me why he showed me the lab filled with fallen angels the spirit of a higher told me that these are fallen angels. All of them, every single one that's walking up and down in the lab, creating the moon milk. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Judgment is coming to a lot of these pastors. All of these pastors, listen, people don't understand this, the seriousness of this. See, all of these pastors who encouraged right their followers who encourage the body of christ to go and have the moonshot is in serious trouble with the most that they have to come out and repent they must come out publicly not silently in their bedroom on their you know in front of the public pulpit they must come out 
and repent. Repent. Gina Jennings, T.D. Jakes, all of them, all of them big pastors, all every one of them got to repent because they've led the church into error. They led the church to error, right? Into something that is very, 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 very wicked and detrimental. This is why the dirty Caesars of the world pushes. Anything you see, the Caesars or the Pharaohs of the world in all these countries, anything that you see that they push is wicked. Always remember that. And, 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 and heaven knows, heaven knows when the sea, when the, when the, when the moonshot came out, they, brothers and sisters, you know, they push the stuff, penalize. Can't do this, I can't do that, to shut this down, to shut that down, you're ostracized, you can't talk to that person, you can't hug unless you take the moon milk. Why is that? Why is it forcing on, on the people? Because it's fallen angel's agenda. It's wicked. Very, very, I can't even, I can't even express how wicked this thing is. Words fail me. Words fail me to express all this. And I say to people, you have to repent. Because the time is coming when the changes are going to happen. And when the changes, especially when it starts to affect your cognitive ability, your mental ability, to think straight, then you won't have the chance to repent. Fallen angels. A higher never lie. The vision is true. See, the thing with my visions on here, a higher gives me visions way in time. So when I come and I release the visions, to some people it sounds like, oh, is it really real? But it is real. Because that's what visions are. It forewarns so that you prepare. It forewarns you and it helps you spiritually. So, brothers and sisters, this is, this is serious. This is serious, 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 serious. People have to repent. The church need to call, I don't know, these pastors, I believe that they need to call a day of fasting, like, Get them members. Everybody make mistakes. Everyone make mistakes. But is repenting from the mistake. And these pastors need to call a day of fasting for the members who have eaten the pudding, who have eaten the moon. Literally have to repent. Have to repent. The church have to repent, brothers and sisters. The church has to repent before it's too late. Those who have taken, those who have eaten the moonshot because of their pastors, because of church people, because of family forcing, because of just the peer pressure, have to repent before it's too late. Because what is about to hit this hearth with the changes, the moonshot is not of the Lord. It is not of Ahaya. Not of him, it's not of him. Created by fallen angels in human form. Ahaya told me. Not human made it, brothers and sisters. It's literal fallen angels, people. You may see human beings in front of the camera that says, yeah, yeah, obviously it's them. But behind the scene, that's what the Lord showed me. Behind the scene, the mixing up, the everything, it's them. It's the fallen ones. But like I say, yes, humans may come out and say, oh, we found this and we are the one who, no, the line. Fallen angels, brothers and sisters. People have to repent. This is serious. Worms and fallen angels. All right. Hallelujah to the Lamb. This world is just filled with doubt. And confusion. It is so hard. 
that I don't understand. But I'm standing, hallelujah, on a solid foundation. And I'm holding on to his, glory be to the most High, to his unchanging hands. Glory be. One day, brothers and sisters, all tears will be wiped from our eyes. We don't have to think about these stuff anymore. Because this whole world, it is going to give way to glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb that was slain. It's not going to be pretty, brothers and sisters. This is the reason why I keep saying to brothers and sisters, <laughs> listen, you need to make sure you make it into the second exodus. Like, it is so important. I can't even tell you how important it is. I know many of you are watching, you know, you really believe that the rapture is any minute now because you got fake, false people on YouTube talking about the rapture coming any day, any minute now. It's a wicked lie. And Ahaya is going to deal with such people. But I am telling you on a biblical point of view, on biblical prophecies, the woman in Revelation 12 happens before the sixth seal. Literally, it happens before the sixth seal. Repent. Fallen angels. Not human beings. Ain't human. It was a human that created the moonshot. It's a literal fallen angels. They're the one who mix it everything. Obviously, yes, they use the humans to come in front of the telly and what have you, what have you, and said, oh, they're the one, but it's not them. Literal fallen angels. That's the reason why they could put the the worms, the parasitic worm in the moonshot. They're the only ones that can do it. Talk about egg hatching. Egg hatching. It's about to hatch. A higher never lies. And when these things begin to happen, I know many brothers and sisters will come back to this channel and say, Oh, Sister Carrie, and you gave the prophecy about this. A higher cannot lie. It's not my prophecy. It's a higher. A higher. Glory be. But you have to repent before it's too late. Repent before it's too late. All right? Some people will not listen. I know some people, when I talk to them, they boast. Boast in the moon in the moon milk. It's the one it's the best thing since sliced bread. And you can see the changes in them. Some of them. I think those people have eaten the moon because I know people personally. <clears throat> I know people have eaten the slice of the pudding. But because they still maintain a relationship with a higher, um they seem to be okay. All right. So sometimes you so saw those people have eaten the moon, <coughs> the moon slice, <coughs> but still have a relationship with the most sty. I believe that the Lord will work on their heart and Satan won't get them. But it's those people have eaten the moon slice and arrogant with it. Or still living wickedly. You put wicked stuff in your body, but you're still not living a holy and righteous life. So when things begin to happen, you, happen, you, you don't have the covering. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Top 20 beautiful beloved. I need a powerful video of the 144K. All right. Um, that I did. Um, fen, fen, fenden a pinet. Fendena. 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 Fendena pinet. Maxine Foster. Rahabot TMZ. Rah Rah sorry, Rahabot Zedem, Rahabot, beautiful Rahabot Zedem, all right, Janet Franklin, Janetta, Janetta Franklin, Rita Kangan DJ, Istro Beats, Conroy Jones, Jereen Smith, Pauline Anderson, Ingle off, Ingle off, Latoya Warren, Latoya Warren, Melipu, Melipu. 
Asana Brownie, Juleth Mayberry, Juleth Bailey, sorry, Juleth Mayberry, it's Julie Mayberry, Juleth Bailey, Honeybee198, Renovate DMV, Marquetta Reed, Marcos, Lucio, Marcos, Lucio, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, another thing as well, I'm going to finish this up, but if I see Marcos, this is really sweet actually, I see Marcos Lucio and he's put his flag Brazil, um, you don't have to, but you know, it's just me getting to know you, because you all know that I'm, I'm Jamaican, right, Jamaica, from Jamaica, but I live in Babylon, UK, um, so when when you do your comments, just as a one-off maybe, um, you can put your, your nationality, your flag beside your name. It would be nice um, so I know where you're from. Because some of the brothers and sisters, are, I know the names. I just don't know where they're from. So it be lovely to just put your flags, all right? Okay, hallelujah. All right, Rachel Icarabo. Rachel Icarabo. Marcella Lopez. Vakima Young. Antoinette. Gorman, Kane Siwa, Anika Satalu, uh, and Kichwari. Um, and that's it, yeah? <laughs> Beautiful, beloved, in most. All right, if you come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Yesaya as the Lord and Savior. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. Glory be to the most. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. Say the sinner's prayer after me, dear Yesaya the Christ. I know that you're the son of Ahaya, whom you work as God. I believe that Yesiah died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection. And that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. And I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahaya. Yesiah, king of glory, I come before you right now. And I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I have done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways, Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah. And I pray that you Will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said a prayer, I believe with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2, verse 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. You've done the repenting part. You don't need to find a man of the most that higher ask you to fully baptize you, fully dunk you in water. When you go down in water, you're saying that you said that in the cross, you believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most that raised you out of the water, you're raised to new life, you're raised to the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection, beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch and have the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most that Ahaya, who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Yesiah's only name, amen, amen. I said the benediction, benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, the Bible reads, Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Isaiah or Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen 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 blessings amen